So, you are living in Compton. Yeah. You're a mob Piru. Keefe D is Southside Crip. Right. You and Keefe are about the same age. I think you're about maybe a year or two older than me. Exactly. Yeah. Right around the same age. Yeah. At what point do you learn about him? When we were doing, they had a hydraulic shop, we had a hydraulic shop. I guess, I don't think we was in competition, but they was doing big shit over there at their hydraulic shop, and we had just really got started. Then once, once we found out who was doing that, that's when he first came up, okay, Keefe D. Keefe D used to go woo, 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 sell drugs and all this. He was one of the big homies over there, should I say. Other than that, it was really nothing um, until we found out where he lived at, which my daughter mama told me all about who Keefe D was. Right, because your baby mother is Southside. She from Southside. South South yeah. yeah. Okay, and Keefe D was a major drug dealer in Compton. Yeah. We, we talked about that yeah. in our interviews and that. Right. Not a hidden hidden piece of knowledge. So, Keefe D, who's the uncle of Orlando Anderson, yeah, who who claims Southside Crip, is in the same city as you, and he's moving a lot of cocaine. Were you guys ever doing business with Southside? No, drug wise, or was that just a big no no? No, no. One of one of our homeboys hung with one of they homeboys that was that had big weight over there. I mean just kicking it. They were they were like ace coon booms. Other than that, we had no association with those guys. Okay. Cause they were essentially your enemies. Yeah. And yeah. During the time that Suge is beefing with Easy. Yeah. And you're around during this time. Yeah. Keefe said something interesting in our interview. He said that Easy E had all the Compton Crips behind him. Suge would have never touched him because of that. So Suge is trying to form this record label. He gets in, into contact with Easy E, but Easy E doesn't want to just let his artist go and and so forth. Uh, but ultimately, some situations happen, and he gets a release for Dr. Dre and Michelle A. See, that, I, I watched that movie and stuff like that. I don't, I, don't, I don't think that's shit, that shit true because uh, Easy E had the whole Alondra behind him. And Alondra a little bit was harder than Lil Rosegrand back then. You know what I'm saying? He he, he had the Atlantic Drives, the Kelly Parks, Ann Hoods, Southside, Spook Town, just name it. Okay. Uh, Occasion, the whole Alondra was behind him. So we ain't gonna put a let no red rag do Easy E like that. That's a lie. Easy didn't have all no Compton Crips ready to go to he's war. He's a Kelly Park, Kelly yeah. Park Crip. If, if if that was the case, if Easy had all the Crips rocking and rolling with him, he'd have been rolling like that. He wasn't rolling like that. You know, all of these guys can say what they want, and and I give credit where credit is due. Like Orlando was with the business. These guys get on here and then they be talking like the Crips would have like swallowed these par rules and. And bam, and the 80s, the 90s, motherfuckers knew. In Compton, y'all couldn't fuck with them Pyrus, man. Them Pyrus was dangerous. And it was some, they had killers too. But man, we were dangerous in the, in the 80s. We was dangerous in the 90s. They, they, they need to stop saying that. Well, I mean, to be fair, Easy E was kind of the hero of Compton. He's the one that really put Compton on the map in terms of worldwide. Only because people look at him like that. No, it wasn't. I mean, Compton was doing their thing already. The father's the music. Uh, uh, right. Yes. yes, yes. So as as someone who was living in the Bay Area at the time, yeah. I could tell you, and I, I I wasn't making trips to L.A. or whatever, yeah. I had never actually heard the word Compton until I was listening to Easy es first album. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> As far as that, he and, he really put you know he put Compton on a worldwide stage, uh, that, uh, in terms of music, yeah. entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> okay. As far as with the business, just just doing this, he was a great businessman. Yeah. That he was. Uh, I don't take nothing from the dude. 
You know what I'm saying? But fathers, when these cats get to talking about that he was this gangster, he was old niggas like that. No, he wasn't. No, I mean he had his own bodyguards. He had the Samoan guys. Samoans, not Crips. Yeah. If the Crips is rocking with him like that, and he got the Crips on his on on in his pocket like Shug got the Bloods, you know, fucking with him, yeah. then you just saw that in him. You didn't see that in Easy. Easy wasn't walking with forty Bloods and Crips. and and knocking down shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Come on, man. Okay, fair enough. Keep your demons out of line. <laughs> and I'm gonna say you was out of line with that shit. 